If we define fatigue in the simplest way, it is tiredness, that is not resolved by rest. In the context of clinical medicine, it can be described, as difficulty initiating or maintaining voluntary mental or physical activity. Nearly everyone who has ever been ill has experienced fatigue. Because fatigue is a universal symptom. Fatigue can be caused by different medical conditions. Among them, common are, depression, anxiety, and somatoform disorders. During fatigue, patients commonly complain of weak muscles, but objectively their muscle strength is normal in most cases. If muscle strength objectively is declined, it is a definitive sign of neuromuscular disorders like myasthenia gravis. Also, other neurological diseases including multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, and lateral amyotrophic sclerosis. Obstructive sleep apnea is an important cause of excessive daytime sleepiness in association with fatigue, especially with prominent obesity or snoring. Fatigue also can be correlated with endocrine pathologies, especially hypothyroidism. Associated symptoms include dry skin, cold intolerance, constipation, and weight gain. Fatigue associated with heat intolerance, sweating, and palpitations can be caused by hypothyroidism. Chronic liver and renal failure also cause fatigue. Obesity is associated with fatigue and sleepiness independent of the presence of obstructive sleep apnea. Physical inactivity is also an important factor. Moreover, according to studies, exercise and physical activity can improve fatigue. Infection Both acute and chronic infections commonly lead to fatigue as part of the broader infectious syndrome. Post-infectious fatigue may also occur following a variety of acute infections. For example, COVD-19 and Ebola virus. Fatigue is very commonly reported by women during all stages of pregnancy and postpartum. If unexplained fatigue is associated with unexplained weight loss, malignancy should be suspected. Chronic fatigue syndrome is another cause of fatigue. Treatment. The first and most important part is the treatment of the underlying disorder. Antidepressants may be helpful for the treatment of chronic fatigue if depression is presented. If antidepressants aren't effective it should be discontinued soon. Because it can have side effects and can increase fatigue. Cognitive behavioral therapy has also its role. Exercise therapy, typically is walking, which gradually increased, but avoid overexertion. While vitamin D has its role if vitamin D deficiency is presented. Amphetamines and stimulants can be effective on some cases, for example Parkinson's disease, cancer, or brain injury.